channel. Today we just got right to it. It's fall so I figured why not do a vampy fall makeup tutorial. It's about time so I hope you guys like the look I created for you guys today. I wanted to do something a little bit darker, more vampy, nighttime, night out, that kind of stuff. Without further ado, let's get started. I wanted to do a quick toot today, so I already have my face done. This is going to be a voiceover, so let's get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing I'm doing is taking this shade right here from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm just popping that in my crease as my first transition shade just to help make sure everything blends out nicely. Then I'm going to be mixing those two shades together right there just to add more definition and further that darkness in that crease area. I'm not taking these up as far as a lash shade, I'm just more so adding that definition and depth in the crease there. I'm also making sure to go all the way from outer, outer corner to inner corner with all of these shades just to make sure that that halo look is really blended out. As you can see here, I'm going in with another darker shade and I'm just repeating this process with all of the colors until I'm happy with the, the pigmentation of everything and then once I am happy with everything, I go in and blend it all out because blending is super important as we very well know. So now I'm going in with Cherry Cola by Makeup Geek and I'm taking it on a shorter, denser brush and putting that even lower in that crease area as well as those two outer and inner corners. Each time I go in with a color, it's darker and I'm putting it even tighter in that area just to help enhance that deep crease look. Then I'm just going in and blending everything out before I go in with the darkest shade that we are going to be using. I will be taking my pencil brush from Morphe and this black shade from my Morphe 3502 palette right here. And then once I'm done applying this color, I blend everything out once more just to make sure that everything transitions really smoothly. Then I'm taking this shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette and spraying a synthetic brush with some MAC charged water to help create the foiled effect that this shadow has. I am going to be applying this with that synthetic brush and then I will also be blending it out with my ring finger and a blending brush. At first I used a smaller domed Too Faced brush that was a little bit more dense and that really didn't help to do anything so I just went in with my favorite blending brush by Morphe which is the E27 brush just to go over that crease area once more to make sure that there aren't any harsh lines and everything transitions nicely. And 
And then I'm going in with the shimmery pink shadow from the same palette and I'm just putting that in the center of my lid just to highlight everything. I'm also going to be putting that on my brow bone and in my inner corner as well to tie the look together. Next I'm going in with my L'Oreal Gel Liner, which I've really been loving lately because I ran out of my Kat Von D pencil, which I still love. I'm just going to be doing a straight line along my lash line with this to help conceal my lash band. I'm not going to be doing a wing or anything like that, but feel free to wing it out as much as you would like. Next I'm going to go in and apply mascara and lashes. Today I'm going to be using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and my Eyelore Lashes. I believe they're in the style Definition. They're either Definition or Dramatic. They're the ones in the orange package and I've been loving them lately because they remind me a lot of my Samantha lashes that I love from Huda Beauty, which I flushed down the toilet R.I.P. Still not over it. But after I apply that, I'm just going to go in with liner and line my upper waterline and my lower waterline, which how crazy does this look? I really hate putting liner clips on my videos or in my videos, so I never really do that. But then I'm just going in with a flat definer brush and applying that same shadow that we used on the lid on my lower lash line and buffing that out so everything looks really smoky. And then this also helps to bring that look together even more. So I wanted to show you guys two different lip options today, one more subtle and one more dramatic. This first one is by Maybelline, it is their Vivid Matte Lipstick and I believe this is in the shade Nude Flush, I'm not 100% sure though. And then I'm going to be going in with my Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in the shade Drop Dead Red which I absolutely love. This shade looks so good on so many different skin tones, so if you get a chance to try it out, I suggest doing so. I rave about these lipsticks all the time on my channel because I truly love them so much. They are everything that is right in this world, I swear. So I hope you guys liked today's video. I wanted to just dive right into the fall and winter holiday how many more descriptive words can I say? <laughs> Makeup tutorials. Um, I just wanted to do something very fall and vampy. So if you guys liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I just want to thank you so much to everyone who does subscribe and who watches my videos and who comments and gives thumbs up and all that good stuff. I really, really appreciate it. It means so much to me. I cannot thank you guys enough. So I just want to say thank you. Um, and so I guess that's it. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you guys next week. See you guys next week with a new video. Just want today to be a quick toot. A quick toot. But I think of those dark, very, very. Do I even remember what I'm doing? No. Because why would I? Anyways, um, have you guys liked this video? No problem. What am I even doing? I don't even remember what I did. Yeah. I'm tired. I figured, why not do fall? It's a thing. It's happening. Immediately I think of like these tones. <laughs> I don't know what this was. Then that would be my own freaking video. Four minutes of footage and I'm not going to be using any of it. I just went to tap this off like it was powder. It's freaking cream liner. <laughs> I just dropped my lash and it has glue on it. <laughs> the leaves are gone outside as I'm looking outside right now, which just, I hate winter.